Question system program problem detected. Do you want to report prompt system? Do you want to cancel push? Local folders, Mozilla Thunderbird frame. Local folders, collapsed. Tree level, desktop frame, home icon. Hello, and thank you for joining the Sonar Project. You can reach us at sonar-project.org. Today we're going to be looking at using gpotter, which is a podcast catcher. And in my opinion, this is my favorite one, and I think this is the best one to be using. And we'll just take a quick look at it. I already have gpotter installed. You may have watched the video where we installed gpotter and moved it. So I have gpotter installed right now. And we'll go to gpotter. We can go to it by hitting Alt F1 and going to the menu. Desktop expanded edge panel frame. Applications menu. I believe it's under internet. Accessories, profits, internet menu, desktop share, transmission, under the menu, the remote, digital internet, gpotter podcast client. There it is, gpotter podcast client. We'll hit enter. Internet menu, applications menu, desktop frame, home icon, applications menu menu, gpotter startup assistant, welcome to gpotter, your subscription list is empty. What do you want to do? Choose from a list of example podcasts for certain. So we have gpotter open, but I, in the Thunderbird video, I forgot to show you how you can open up other packages besides going to the menu. So I'm going to hit Alt F4 and we're going to leave gpotter for a second. Gpotter frame, preferences push button. Desktop frame, home icon. Okay, so now we're back at the desktop. You can also press Alt F2, which brings up a run box. Desktop frame, home icon, run application, text. Here, you can type in a name of a program and open it. So if you know the name, like Gpotter, for instance, you could just basically type in GPODD and it'll auto fill it the rest in, and then you could hit enter. So let's do that. You see, it filled in the name. Desktop frame. Gpotter startup assistant. Welcome to Gpotter. Your subscription list is empty. What do you want to do? Choose from a list of example podcasts for certain. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about Gpotter. It's pretty awesome. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a lot of podcasts. I, I'm, I'm subscribed to 70 or 80 podcasts, and every time I switch operating systems, I don't want to have to, you know, put in each podcast one by one again. So gpotter allows you to back up your podcasts and import them in, into gpotter. So, um, so that's one cool thing. Another cool thing is if you go to mygpotter.org, there's a, a list of the top 100 podcasts that are subscribed to on gpotter. So you can see all kinds of different lists of podcasts that are there. You can even share your gpotter list with people and uh, they can get all of your subscriptions all in one shot. There's lots of really cool things you can do with gpotter. You can sync it to an iPod and things like that if you have one. I don't own one, but um, so, okay, now we're going to take a look at gpotter. We're at the opening screen here, and if you're new to like podcasts or whatever, it asks if you want to see an example of podcasts. So you can get, press enter on that, or we can tab. Download my subscriptions from gpotter.net push button. See the mygpotter.net. Uh, you can actually upload your subscription list to online to the mygpotter.net. So instead of having to back it up onto like a pen drive or whatever, you could actually upload your subscription list to mygpotter.net. And when you reinstall, you can click on this and download your subscription. Cancel push button. Choose from a list of example podcasts push button. Download my subscription. Cancel push button. So we'll just click cancel here so we can look at gpotter. Gpotter frame. Preferences push button. Okay, so now. We're inside of gpotter, so as you see, there's a preferences right there. So let's let's press enter on preferences. Preferences audio player, video player, general page tab. So we're on the general page. We're gonna tab through it right now. Default application combo box. Edit push button. Default application combo box. Edit push button. Enable notification bubbles. Check box checked. Show icon in system tray. Check box not checked. Edit config push button. Close push button. General page tab. We're gonna right arrow. Gpotter.net page tab. Synchronize subscriptions and episode actions. Checkbox not checked. Text. Password text. So here you'd put in your username and password. Text. Keep on the wrong path and think path T60 selected. Replace list on server with local subscriptions. Push button. Edit config push button. Close push button. Keep on the dot net page tab. So we're going to write arrow. Updating page tab. Slider 2. Check for new episodes on startup. Checkbox not checked. 200 selected spin button. Show episode list combo box. Edit config push button. Close push button. Updating page tab. Now we're right arrow again. Clean up page tab. Slider zero. Remove finished downloads from the downloads tab. Checkbox checked. Edit config push button. Close push button. Clean up page tab. Right arrow again. Devices page tab. None combo box. Do nothing combo box. Remove played episodes from device checkbox not checked. Only sync unplayed episodes checkbox not checked. 
Edit config push button. Close push button. Devices page tab. General page tab. Don't worry, right arrow back to the general tab. General uh, tab. Deep of the frame. Preferences push button. Quit push button. Page tab list. Podcast page tab. Download page tab. Podcast page tab. So let's uh, add a podcast here, and we can see how to do that. So you can press Control L. Add a new podcast URL. Text. Here is where you add the URL to your podcast. So let's, um, I guess, well, you know what? We'll inadvertently show you another cool feature within Sonar GNU Linux. There's an awesome thing called virtual desktops, and you're about to see what they are. So I'm going to press Control Alt Right Arrow. Workspace 2, desktop frame, home icon. Now I'm on another desktop. I can open up anything from here and, and share applications between different screens. So what I'm going to do is open up Firefox. Desktop frame, home icon, run application, text. I press Alt F2 and I just type in fire and it's going to fill it in. I hit desktop enter. Frame, home icon. Ubuntu start page, Mozilla Firefox frame, entry. Navigation tool, tool. T, P, T, E, E, A. Oh, loading. Please wait. Finish loading. H open DNS page tab. Why am I here? D finish loading. D P R T E M E D I A R T. Why am I here? Link. You tried to visit frostheartmedia.org, which is not loading. Loading. Please wait. Finish loading. Frostheartmedia, the podcast network of your favorite DNU slash Linux media. Frostheart and Frostheart Media. Link. Okay, I'm on frostbitemedia.org, which shameless plug is my website, but I'm going to tab to a uh, a feed and show you how to do this. Accessible, com- accessible, com- the new rate, Linux, read more at Frostcast, Libra, accessible, read, announce it, read more at new pod, read more at Frostcast, read more at Thomas, and Aventi. Twitter, get a hand, watch how you pull MP4 log, link, Droid Nation MP3, link, Droid Nation OGG, link. We're gonna click on Droid Nation, the OG feed. Loading, please wait. Finish loading, Droid Nation OGG, powered by Feed Burner, Droid Nation OGG, link. You should try Feed Burner, Feed Burner, Droid Nation, Droid Nation, play now, Droid Nation, Droid Nation, Droid Nation, play now, Droid, 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 play, Droid, 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 Feed, you should browse the tab navigation tool, our tool, our go to our website, entry feeds.feedburner.com slash Droid Nation, opt selected. So I'm just going to do Control A to select all. A selected. Then I'm going to do Control C to copy. C. Now I'm going to press Control Alt Left Arrow to go back to Gpotter. Workspace 1, add a new podcast URL, text. Now I'm going to press Control V. V, HTTP feeds.feedburner.com slash Droid Nation, on. Okay, so now the feed's in there, so I'm going to go, I'm going to tab to where it says add. Paste push button, cancel push button, add push button, keep on the frame, information please wait while epi- new episodes available, new episodes available, select the episodes you want to download, one episode, size, 40.19 might be, download push button. So I'm just going to press download, and it'll start downloading the episode. Keep on the frame, podcasts, one page tab. Image droid nation, OGG droid nation. Check for updates push button. Table, episode column header, Droid Nation, episode 040 fixed, come and take back control of your unselected. Droid Nation, Droid Nation, episode cancel, push podcasts, one page tab. So right now it's downloading, and then after it's downloaded... Notification, download, finished, Droid Nation, episode 040 fixed. Okay, so Droid Nation has downloaded. So I'll show you where it puts the uh, episodes that you download. So we'll do control, alt, right arrow to go back to the other desktop. Workspace 2, Droid Nation, OGG, powered by Feed Burner. Alright, Firefox is open here, so we'll just close it by pressing Alt F4. Desktop frame, home icon. Now, did you hear where it says home? It's a it's an icon that's on your uh, desktop. This is uh, like, you're kind of like your My Documents, basically, within Windows, so... Computer desktop, home icon. We're going to click on that and hit Enter. And this is going to bring home. us into the home phone folder. Frame. Icon, new layout pane, zero desktop folder icon. So that's the desktop folder. Documents folder icon. Documents. Downloads folder icon. Downloads. You would think downloads are there, but it's not. You'll see next. Gpotter downloads folder icon. So there's Gpotter downloads. So we'll hit enter on that. Gpotter downloads. Droid Nation OGG folder icon. So we have the Droid Nation folder. So we'll hit enter on that. Droid Nation OGG. Droid Nation 040 underscore zero dot 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 audio icon. And there's the Droid Nation episode 40. So, um, that's what we, that's, uh, using Gpotter. Like I said, you can, oh, you know what? I didn't show you much of a, a Gpotter. Let's do control alt left there to go back over to Gpotter. Workspace one, Gpotter frame, podcasts one, page tab. Now, if you want to look at backing up your file, your Gpotter file, you can press, um, alt and the letter S. S, subscriptions menu, discover new podcasts, control plus F. So here's the subscriptions tab. So... Let's press the arrow down. Add podcast my URL control plus L. So you can you can either hit Alt S to go to this menu, or like we did earlier, you can press Control L, and that'll bring up the section to add a URL for a podcast. Let's press the arrow key down again. Remove podcasts. 
Update podcast. Podcast settings. Input from optimal file control plus O. Export to optimal file. See right there the export optimal file. This will make if you when you click on this, it'll ask you where you want to put the file and you can choose like desktop or your home folder or whatever. And then that'll create a file that has your backup of all your subscriptions. So when you install Gpotter again, you can go if you if I press the arrow key up. Import from optimal file control plus O. You can import the file. And then it'll just automatically put all of your subscriptions back into where the, uh, how it was. So an awesome feature of Gpotter. I've been using it for years. I love this program. Export to optimal file. Discover new podcasts. Control plus F. Add podcast my URL. Control plus L. So let's press the right arrow. Episodes menu. Play shift plus return. Delete. Delete. Change plate status. Change delete log. Episode details. Play shift plus return. Episode details. We'll right arrow again. View menu show all episodes in podcast list. Check menu item checked. Show toolbar check menu item checked. Control plus D. Episode descriptions check menu item checked. Control plus D. All episodes check menu item not checked. Control plus zero. Hide deleted episodes check menu item checked. Control plus one. Downloaded episodes check menu item not checked. Control plus two. Unplayed episodes check menu item not checked. Control plus three. Hide podcasts without episodes check menu item not checked. Show all episodes in podcast list check menu item checked. Show toolbar check menu item checked. Control plus D. We'll right arrow again. Help menu user manual control plus H. Go to gpodder.net. Website. Report a problem. Support gpodder. About. User manual control plus H. We'll right, right arrow again. Podcasts menu check for new episodes control plus R. And we're back to the beginning. So these are just a, a few of many things you can do with gpodder. Well, I might have another in-depth episode, but this is to give you a quick uh, overlook of to see uh, what exactly you can do with gpodder. So... Again, if you want to visit us, it's sonar-project.org. We have on the mailing list. We have the wiki. You can email us through the contact tab on the website, sonar-project.org. We thank everyone that's joining the community. We thank everyone that's been visiting and watching the videos and listening. And thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you again soon. Podcasts, one page tab. Desktop frame, home mic. Top expanded edge panel. Top e device me me messages menu. Menu top.